the last episode of AI Emblem, ChatGPT took us on a wild boat map against Captain Blacktight and his body doubles. It felt a bit silly, but it was a nice enjoyable break from the monotony of constantly battling the Eclipse. Now, however, we go into a much different chapter, Leoran's Trial by Fire. This is a solo map, and I will be honest, it took some work to get this into a playable stage. The AI had amazing ideas, but it was difficult to translate them into a map that was playable and beatable without a little bit of input from me. This is the first time I've had to work together with the AI to create a map that's actually playable, as solo chapters tend to be very challenging to do right in Fire Emblem. However, the result is a map that actually becomes a huge puzzle and cannot just be brute forced by a strong Leoran. I'll let the chapter speak for itself in this penultimate version of Fire Emblem Shadows of Etheria. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Manx, and I welcome you guys to the penultimate chapter of AI Emblem. Prince Leoran arrives at the Fire Shrine in Ignis, the resting place of the Fire Emblem. Here he faces a trial only he can undertake. As he approaches the shrine's entrance, King Eldrick shares final words of wisdom. The gates of the shrine loom before Leoran, ready to test his mettle in solitude. The trial by fire begins, a crucial step towards their final battle against Varian. Leoran, my son, you stand at the precipice of a great trial. I am ready, father. The weight of this task does not escape me. Inside you will face not just the shrine's guardians, but also yourself. Remember, true strength comes from within, from the heart and the mind. I understand, father. I will carry your teachings with me. Be steadfast. The fire emblem is not just a symbol of power, it is a beacon of hope. It will light your way through the darkness. I will not falter. I'll secure the emblem and prepare us for the battle ahead. I have every faith in you. Go forth, my son. May the flames guide and protect you. But remember, be quick. Take too long and the fires of the temple will consume you. Prince Leoran must face this challenge alone, without his allies or supplies. So yeah, it is the penultimate chapter, ladies and gentlemen, and this is a pretty insane one. It took a lot of work to get this chapter into a playable state. The AI had a, an idea of what it wanted to do for this chapter, but it wasn't very good at doing it in a way that actually made it beatable. It, it did, this is the first chapter that required a lot of tuning from me, because the AI just doesn't know how to balance. So I, I tried to stay as true to the AI's vision as possible. It had an, an amazing idea for this chapter, but oh boy, was it difficult to execute in practice. So that's why this chapter took some time to get out. It's just a very complicated chapter. Now, this is actually one of the rare cases where I will say, before you watch this video, you should go and try the map for yourself. Because obviously, since I read what the AI wrote about this chapter, I kind of know how to beat it. It's not guaranteed, because there's some RNG involved, and it's actually a pretty difficult map. But this will essentially be a walkthrough on how to beat the chapter, since I know what lies ahead. If you really want to try and beat this for yourself, you get no hints, by the way. You just, you kind of have to figure it out. This is a brain twister of a map, a real puzzle map. And yeah, well, again, just, just go play it for yourself. If you want to try it, pause this video, go play it. And this will require, like, the, the better your Leoran is, obviously, the better you're going to be. But having like a capped out Leoran is actually no guarantee to win this map because it requires you to move in very specific ways. Now, Leoran will not have access to the convoy. So whatever items that you send in, in battle into him will, will be the ones that uh, he'll have for the entire battle. Now, you may think that it's a good idea to put every single sigil on him, the earthen, the storm, and the ocean sigil, but I actually disagree. I don't think that's a good idea because since you don't have convoy, if you have full inventory, you have to drop items, which means that you might be forced to drop sigils because you need to have certain items in your inventory to clear this map. So I actually advise that you take the Skyrim blade, the iron sword, and just an earthen sigil with you and leave the rests because You'll see once I get into this map, there's going to be a lot of droppables and inventory management will be a problem. And the Earthen Sigil is the best of the three because it heals him. The other two are nice, don't get me wrong, but they're actually not going to be that important for this challenge. The Avoid granted by the Storm Sigil isn't that crucial. And the Pavice is good, but it's not that needed. Like, it's, it's not really something that you'll need for this challenge. But the Earthen Sigil's healing, that's going to come in handy. So, without further ado, I'm going to jump into this chapter, and I'm going to show you how to clear it, and I'm going to explain the mechanics. So, 
Yeah, every turn, Fire Spirits are going to warp in. If they reach you, they'll deal, deal 10 damage to you no matter what. You cannot avoid this. You also cannot kill the Fire Spirits. They are immune to damage, and they have nail. You gotta kite them over these fire tiles. But that's easier said than done. They won't ever move on these red mats here, so these are essentially your safe zones. But the problem is, you only have 30 turns to clear this chapter, and reinforcements are endless, so... You cannot let these guys build up, they will kill you. You also have regular guardians, they have droppables. They're not particularly strong, but they kind of serve to annoy you and bog you down. Um, my advice is that you just try to clear them out as much as possible and take their droppables, because you will be needing them. So every single turn, as I said, you're going to get more and more reinforcements. If you didn't cap out your Leoran prior to this chapter, he's definitely going to cap out by the end of it. Now, there's going to be some visual glitches here because of all the warp ins. Pay them more, no heed. So here, a Sage just spawned. We're going to go kill him as well. He has a droppable Thundertome. Every, the, the, the Guardians always drop the same equipment. The Sages will drop Thundertomes. The Warriors will drop Elixirs. Uh, so you won't be short on equipment uh, on this map. That's not really the problem. So we got some more enemies spawning in here. Uh, so now we have two fire spirits right here, but we have two tiles, two fire tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Lior in here. Again, you're going to have a different playthrough because these reinforcements are actually random. So you will have to adapt on the fly based on what's what, what happens on your playthrough. But you'll see what I'll do right here. I will kite the fire spirits towards Leoran over the fire tiles so that they get killed. It's the only way to kill them. We got more guys here. We got a sniper that just spawned. I think the snipers don't drop anything. They're literally just annoying. Yeah, they're they're just annoying. So what I will do here, you need to constantly be like looking at the units and seeing their movement path to decide how you want to kite this. So again, I think I'll actually just stay here and let the sniper attack me. Uh, the Swordmasters have Worm Slayers. This, you want to keep at least one on you. So, there we go. W wiping out another Guardian. But of course, the Sniper has two range. Now, if you're strong, you might be able to double these Swordmasters. They'll also take damage from the Fire Tiles, but they won't die from it. Alright, we got more reinforcements, and here comes the first wave of Shields. So you want to check these shields, check their inventory, and we, you want to look for a emblem fragment, or... <laughs> I thought I countered a bug, but it turns out uh, I just viewed the wrong menu. Here you go. Yeah, so you want to look for the emblem shard. It will spawn randomly on one of these four shields, and these shields will start making their way down to the stairs, and they'll escape. You gotta kill the one with the emblem shard before it reaches the stairway. So you can already see, things are going to get pretty complicated as more units start to enter the, the field. So, we want to start moving towards this emblem shard and we want to kill it. While at the same time, kiting as many fire spirits into these pits as possible. So, if I stand here, I believe that one of the fire spirits should go... Oh yeah, no, they only have three moves, so yeah. Already you can see I, I messed up right there. But I might be able to kill the Swordmaster? No? Okay, that's a problem, actually. Yeah, you can see right now, I'm, I'm starting to get surrounded, and this is actually really bad. So, I need to kill the Emblem Fragment, and more enemies are gonna make their way towards me right now. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move down here. And I don't double the hero, which is actually really bad. I'm just gonna have to pray for some ether procs right here. Oh, and the spirits move before the heroes. This is actually the worst. I'm, I, this might actually be GG. Because I'm not killing the spirits quickly enough. The spirits move before the heroes, so... Yeah, this this is looking real bad. Now, I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna hold on to one of these Worm Slayers. I wanna check their stats, actually. 75, 5, 8. They are actually kind of better than the Iron Swords, except with less accuracy, so I'm, I might just use the, uh... Oh, think, I think I just used the use of my Skyrim Blade. That's actually really bad. Yeah, you need to save your Skyrim Blade. At least it lets me retaliate against the Sniper, but it doesn't really work. Alright, there we go. 
so more fire spirits are warping in. And this is why the Earth and Sigil is so nice, by the way, because it allows you to do this. And here, I actually think I can take out a lot of spirits, because they'll, they'll hopefully attack me from this tile right here. So here we go, we'll kill the uh, Emblem Shield. And that'll give us a Emblem Shard, you gotta hold on to these. I think I don't need the elixir right now, so I'm gonna throw it away. And hopefully, a bun yeah, a, a bunch of fire spirits are gonna go and kill themselves on the fire tile right now. But as you can see, they always deal 10 damage to you, so if you let too many of them attack you at once, they will actually whittle you down. And of course, you also have the guardians. Usually, they, they don't do much, but again, they're annoying, they bog you down. I think I might actually keep the Steel Sword. Uh, the Worm Slayer and the Steel Sword actually have very comparable stats. If, in fact, the Worm Slayer is just better than the Steel Sword, so I think I'll just keep that. Okay, the rest of the shields you don't really need to bother with. They're not really consequential. But now that we have a Emblem Shard, we will move on to one of these four thrones here. Boom. That locks, that locks the, uh, so that we have now one out of four shrines cleared. We need to do this with all four. So <laughs> you can tell, we'll be here for a little while. And furthermore, we just spawned a guardian. And that guardian cannot be killed either. They're very slow. Yeah, you can see the shields are leaving through the stairs right there. So if, you, if you're not quick enough, you're not gonna get them. So, um... Here you see the Guardian. He will move slowly towards you. And if he reaches you, he'll deal 30 damage to you. So, as you progress through the chapter, more and more of these Guardians will spawn and you're gonna have to run away from them. Now, you may notice that there aren't a lot of fire tiles in the north, but they're in the south. If you just hang around the throne, you're just gonna get surrounded by fire spirits. You actually need to move down here and kite them into fire tiles. So I'm gonna move down here. Maybe I'll just equip a Thunder Tome so I can retaliate against the Sniper, we'll see. Okay, very good. The Fire Tiles are moving into, or the, the Guardians are moving into Fire Tiles. So that's two killed. Maybe we can even get a third one. Okay, now they're surrounding me, which, which is really bad. Oh, an Aether would be so nice here. But at the, yeah, so now I'm surrounded. This is really bad, actually. Uh, this is this is death. And this is what I was talking about. This is why you need to be proactive in killing these units. Uh, because if you don't... Well, actually, Leoran has perfect... No, he can't cross the, the, the braces. So this is super bad right now. Um, this, this is like... This might be GG. So this is why it's so important. It's just... They bog you down, and the spirits cannot be killed except for on fire tiles. But we just got another round of shields. So we got an emblem shard right here. This is so that we actually got to hurry here. I'm going to try my best to move north. And we'll see if we can catch up with that, with that shield. I don't know if we will, but we'll see. Now you remember, the spirits don't move on the carpets. So we effectively have sewn them out, but we have to kill the Berserker and the Hero. Otherwise, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, there, there's, there's, we, we just got, we just got screwed right now. Um, we let, we let the enemy surround us, and now the Guardians are gonna kill us. So I'll, I'll let it play out. But this is what I was talking about. You got to be super careful with your positioning on this map. Now, occasionally, Guardians will just waltz into Fire Tiles and die, which is really nice. But in this particular situation... Especially now that the Guardian is gonna hit me for 30 damage... I, there's a chance... Nah, if, I, I, if I'd kill that hero, there's a chance I might have been able to escape this, but... Now I am definitely dead. Yeah, look at that. And furthermore, the shields are gonna escape me now. So, yeah. That's a GG right there. That is a GG. 
So it's it's an incredibly complicated map, and you gotta think two steps ahead, which I think is actually really cool. Again, it was hard to get this to a balanced state. The AI didn't specify the numbers, it just told me how it wanted the gimmick to unfold. But it required a lot of testing and a lot of fine-tuning. There we go, all right. So Leoran failed the trial. All right, let, 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 let's try that again. Let's try that again. So we just gotta not get cornered and we gotta be a bit more proactive with killing the spirits. So I've, I've brought the Royal Blade with me now. I don't know if that's, if that's smart. It's a pretty heavy sword, so we'll see. So let's do that. We're, we got the same spawns here, I think. But based on your RNG, it does change a little bit. All right, so we killed the warrior. I don't know if the elixir, if there's any point to getting the elixir. But you can already see we're getting different spawns. So how can we move in such a way? One, two, th they have three moves, so I don't think there's any way we can kite the spirit in. But I think I will just move into the center of the room regardless, and we'll see what happens. Alright, more heroes just spawned. And again, I think I will just stand like this. Killing the spirit, getting a level only or You know, getting some speed would be really nice right about now, I'm just saying. <laughs> it would be really nice. Alright, more fire spirits, a sniper. Hmm. Do we just stay here? Again, the fire spirits are more dangerous than anything else. But I also kind of want to get rid of the snipers, because they're annoying, so I think I'm just going to go up here. The Royal Blade is actually pretty nice. It has some decent might on it. But, as you can see right now, if you spend too much time around the top throne room, you're going to be in a bad position. So I think we're going to get our first round of shields. Yeah, we are. There we go. Where's the Emblem Shard? It's on the left. Okay. Kind of terrible positioning. But we'll find a way. Uh, I really need a Steel Sword or a Worm Slayer at this point, I think. Yeah, the enemies are building up. You know, some Aether procs would be great, Leoran, I'm just saying. I'd really appreciate that right about now. You know, some le some Aether procs would be godlike. Alright, how can we... Okay, if we go over here, we... Let's see, if we go over here, we might be able to reach the shield. We could we could outrun most of these enemies and just hope that they randomly go into fire tiles, which I guess is a that is a strategy that you could do. Again, man, oh, my Leoran is so weak. That makes this chapter so much harder. Alright, I might just have to use the Skyrim Blade a little bit here. Because I need to actually deal some damage to these guys. Again, I wish wish I had more uses of my Skyrim Blade. But there's the Emblem Shard. Okay, very nice. We gotta kill some of these Guardians, very important. Another Elixir, don't really think that's gonna be useful, so let's just throw it away. Okay, we actually get doubled with the, with the Skyrender Blade. Hit points, skill, speed, luck and resistance. And now, these guys are blocking us, which is not great. So I think going on... Yeah, we, we, need, we need to put some distance. We cannot get surrounded again, so it's important that we all go over here now. And we can bring one of the emblem shards up to the throne. Now, one thing you got to be careful about, if you have multiple emblem shards in your inventory and you visit a throne... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna throw away the elixir. Then we'll actually take away all your shards. You get more shards than you need over the course of the map, but it's still something you have to be wary of. Alright, 20 speed. That's actually really nice. Uh, another steel sword. We'll just throw that away. I think we're gonna get another round of shields very soon. 
so we gotta make our way over to a throne. Yeah, we're gonna make our way over to a throne. Uh, is there any way we can get to it next turn? Let's see. Uh, if we go over here, we should be able to. So I'm gonna equip my steel sword right now. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, but I'm a little bit worried about the other spirits, though. I, I, fe I fear they're going to surround me. So, depending on how they move, I need to be more careful. Uh, yeah, this is a problem, you see. This is a big problem, because if I move on to the tile right now, I'll get surrounded by three spirits. So... Yeah, this is terrible. Maybe I should have kept on, hold, held on to one of those thunder tones. Okay, so we got another round of shields. Emblem shard. Okay, so the emblem shard is actually right there, which is really good for us. I think we need to use the Skyrim blade here. We'll activate this altar. This is what I was worried about right now, but I don't think they can surround us completely, so I think we should be fine. But, of course, if I... Yeah, okay, I killed that guy. The warrior might surround me if I'm not careful. Got an elixir, not really that useful. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes, okay, very good. Again, if you didn't conserve your Sky, Sky, Sky Render Blade for this, I feel kind of sorry for you. Because it's kind of integral to winning this. There we go. And you still want to conserve it a little bit for what comes ahead. Okay, 22 speed. That's actually really good. Now, this chapter can easily softlock you, I think, if you have a very weak Leoran. Okay. So there's the next emblem shard. We get some healing. Again, we gotta be so careful not to get... Again, I think I have to... Yeah, again, you see how scary this is? You see how scary this is? We cannot let them surround us. We need to kill a couple more, so... Luck we were lucky. This shield was the one who got the emblem sigil. And emblem... Uh, Leoran is about to cap, which is very good. There's, the, there's our second emblem shard. We have six uses left on our Sky Skyrender blade. I think there is a very good spot to kite spirits, and it's to the south of Leoran. Oh, they can't move through the braces. That's actually really good. Alright, so I think at this point, uh, we want to probably just activate the next shrine. So I'm going to go over here. We want You kind of want to do this quickly. There we go. That spawns another guardian. So this map just gets more and more hectic as time goes on. And we're, we should get another round of shields pretty soon, I'd say. So, okay, so we got a bunch of spirits clumped up here, which is bad news. We gotta get them, we gotta get them down from there somehow. Now this sage drops a thunder tome. I don't really know if that's worth anything. Leoran's magic is so shit, I don't really think he can do much with it. It might work against the generals, though, who can do that. Oh, there's so many spirits. Okay. Um, let's see. We have to kill some of these flame spirits. It's so important to do that. So, this will actually not be a kill. We'll need to use the Royal Blade for this. There we go. And the, the flame spirits, I think, don't move towards you if you're on impassable terrain. So, you can kind of bait them a little bit. But, again, hitting the unit cap is actually very detrimental on this chapter as you might as you might expect okay very nice <laughs> every flame spirit that dies is good okay he proc ether that's very good and that's another elixir i don't think we'll need that all right and there's another wave of shields Two left. This is intense. This is really intense. Uh, where's the emblem shard? There it is. That's actually good for me.
What if I run over here? So that means the last one that I need to do will be all the, all the way to the left, which can be really bad. Alright, uh, let's move over here. We'll use the steel sword to kill the shield. We have the emblem shard, we'll throw away the thunder tome. And, and this is by far, this, this last bit is going to be absolutely intense. Uh, I'll need to kite as many fire spirits as possible to try and kill. There we go. Two died. That's very nice. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So many generals too. This is really bad. But at least the generals haven't, or the the guardians haven't caught up to me yet. All right, so we can now go and do this. That spawns the third third guardian. So now things are really going to start to get intense. And it really comes down to where the final shield spawns, I think. If I'm lucky, it'll spawn on the left side. So they spawn every five turns, so we are gonna... We can check the turn count. Let's see, we're on turn 18, so in two turns we're gonna get more spawns. In two turns we're gonna get more spawns. Um, this guy, we need, to, we need to outrun him, I think. So we'll go down here. And now you see, if you hit unit cap, the shields won't spawn. So that's why you need to clear out enemies. Because I, I, you probably want to do like a rough count of the enemies every now and then. To make sure they're not closing in on 50. Because if they are, of course, that's 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 GG. Oh, perfect ether from Leoran right here. But again, we have, we have two guardians closing in on our position, so we got to get out of here. Okay, the shields are gone. They'll spawn again next turn. Sage just spawned. This is a bit of a nasty situation. We might just have to eat a guard. These guys deal 30 damage, by the way, so they will two-shot Leoran. So, it's very important. Yeah, if we go like this, we will be surrounded, but we should be able to escape to the... Wait, what? Oh, are they overflowing? Ah, yeah, they're overflowing. Okay, so this is a bug that I'm gonna... This is kind of what I was, was was worried about. So, you you shouldn't be able to damage these guys. And when you, when, when you guys will play this game, this will not happen. This is an underflow bug. So, basically, his defense went too high. And so, his defense went into the negatives. I'm gonna be fixing this until I release the game. Or, I'm gonna be fixing this before I release the game. So, you won't be able to do this. And I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna take advantage of this exploit right here, obviously. Um... But it's good good that I found that during playtesting or during during recording, I guess. <sighs> this is a how the hell am I supposed to move? If I move here, then the spirits will kill me. So I might just have to move south. I think I actually have no choice but to move south here. Yeah, I have no choice but to move south. So you can see they instantly deal 30 damage to you. So, you cannot survive two hits from these guys. They will kill you. Ah, oh, that's a bad Swordmaster spawn. Okay, alright. If I get the Emblem Shard on the right-hand side, I'm fucked. No. Where is it? Where is the Emblem Shard? Okay, it's, it's on the left. That's perfect, actually. That's literally exactly what I wanted. And now I kind of want to use the Elixir, because I'm injured. So yeah, is this chapter a hellish RNG fest? Yes! <laughs> yes it is! It's a hellish RNG fest. But what did you expect? It's the AI. Okay, very nice. So the Guardians aren't very fast. You can easily outrun them. But if they corner you, things could be very bad. But again, we're not out of the woodworks yet. There's a lot more units ahead, and we gotta make sure we kite them all, so... I also gotta, like, reach the shield in time, because it's already here, so... I'm, I'm thinking... Best thing I can do is probably go here? At the moment, I don't need to worry about Unicap anymore, because the final shields have spawned. Now, even if I miss out on this wave, there's still, like, two more waves of shields, I think? So, you have plenty of chances to get four shards, even if you miss a few. 
But of course, it is real bad if you do. You should definitely try not to make that happen. I think the perfect uh, position for me to go right now is here, because that'll kill two fire spirits. There we go. All right, uh, definitely don't throw away the emblem shard. I think we can probably throw away the steel sword at this point. And I kind of want to grab a worm slayer before I head to phase two. You might, and you might have an idea what phase two entails just by listening to me say that. Although the Skyrim blade is also effective, so that might be fine. Okay, so we clear. I think we can actually, yeah, we can act. We can go onto the altar now. I think we're good, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're. Should I get the? Should I get the worm slayer? I actually don't know. So if I kill the swordmaster, I'll get a droppable worm slayer, which could, in theory, be nice. But I, I don't know if I want to risk it though. There's so many fire spirits around here. I right, screw it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm. I'm gonna trust that the Skyrim blade carries me to victory. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You will no longer lose once the time runs out. Kill the dragon to win! Yeah! We have to fight a dragon! Ladies and gentlemen, we have to fight a dragon! And this is why I said the, the, the Worm Slayer could be, could be good, but the Skyrim Blade is actually effective against the dragon, so... If you conserved it... You should still be good. Now, if we could get the dragon to walk on the fire tiles, it will take damage, which is kind of nice. Alright, so it deals 33 damage, but as you can see, the Skyrim Blade is effective. Go get him, Leoran! But yeah, if you don't have the Worm Slayer, or the Skyrim Blade, you're kind of screwed. Look at this, six damage to the dragon. Now the dragon comes with the flame sigil. This is the fire emblem. It boosts strength and magic, doubles crit, and protects from critical hit. So the dragon actually has a lot of crit. But luckily we have the earth and sigil, so that doesn't really matter. Let's see, is there any cool way we can kite the dragon to walk on a fire tile? Maybe by like going over here? You're no longer on the time, by the way, so you can take it easy. You have all the time in the world to kill the dragon. Now, if we broke an ether, I think he'll just die. But yeah, with the Skyrim Blade, this be this fight becomes kind of a joke. And I think we can... I I'm not gonna risk it. 96% chance to hit. That's too scary. I'd rather not. And ladies and gentlemen, with a Luna proc, that's how we defeat the dragon. And we got S rank just as we did, that's perfect. And we get the Flame Sigil. Leorin, you have done it. The Fire Emblem, our people's hope is finally reclaimed. Yes, father, the dragon guarding it was formidable, but I prevailed. The emblem is ours. Your courage and strength continue to surpass even my greatest expectations. Now we must turn our focus to the final battle against Varian. With the Fire Emblem, we stand a chance against the Eclipse. I am ready to lead us into this final confrontation. Indeed, but remember, the Emblem alone does not guarantee victory. It will require all your wit, strength, and the unity of our allies. I understand. We will unite under a single banner and face Varian together. For Terra, for peace! Go, my son. Prepare your troops. Rally your allies. The final battle awaits. And with it, the dawn of a new era. You will be a fine king. Don't speak as if you're going to die. I won't succeed you yet, father. Of course, I was only speaking metaphorically. Now enough talking. Let us be off. Oh boy. Oh boy, he death flagging. He death flagging. He's so, he's so dead. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we're almost at the end. This was the uh, this was the penultimate chapter, and a damn good one, if I may say so myself. Again, I won't lie, this required a lot of tweaking on my end to make it work, but I think the idea was really solid, and that's what the series is all about, seeing what kind of ideas the AI can come up with. So yeah, join us hopefully next Monday, uh, unless Christmas kind of uh, comes in the way, um, for the final battle against the Eclipse. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.